Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Karthik Prabhakar. I'm a consultant in diabetes and endocrinology and I also head the department here at uh, Manipal Hospital. My basic training was from Bangalore, my MBBS. After that, I went to UK for my higher specialist training. After achieving my MRCP in internal medicine, I specialized in diabetes and endocrinology apart from having research background. Subsequently, I worked as a consultant in the UK in Yorkshire before returning back to India. Working here in Manipal for a few years now, we have developed the dev department gradually. In that, apart from providing high quality inpatient and outpatient services, we have a good support in terms of patient education, educating patients about insulin technique, glucose monitoring, etc. Because as we have progressed in the management of diabetes, it's not just doctors advising patients to monitor and manage their diabetes. It's not just doctors advising and patients following it. We want to empower patients and that's what we are doing. We educate patients, we give them enough information and with support, we allow patients to monitor their diabetes, adjust their medications, particularly insulin, so that they are comfortable and confident in managing their own illness. Because as we know, diabetes is a long-term problem. Patients are going to live with it. It is therefore important that they understand the disease, they know how to handle the diet, the exercise, the monitoring aspects of it, and therefore we have a facility wherein we educate patients and ensure they have continued support from our side. So apart from diabetes, which is the commonest problem that we encounter in endocrinology or the hormone problems, next comes thyroid. Thyroid is a gland in the neck which as long as it works, the metabolism works well. If it doesn't work well, patients get problem with weight issues, have problem with menstruations, fertility, skin and hair health, etc. So we provide care for patients with thyroid problems, either hypothyroidism, which is underactive, or hyper, which is overactive. Next, we look after other glands as well, such as pituitary, which is called the master endocrine gland, then parathyroid glands which control calcium levels and the problem of it can cause osteoporosis. We also care for patients with adrenal gland problems, reproductive system, etc. All in all, what we provide is a comprehensive diabetes and endocrine care. We use up-to-date facilities for not only testing and investigating, treatment as well. So we use up-to-date insulins, what are, what are called as insulin analogs. Apart from that, we have good monitoring systems called continuous glucose monitoring systems. In suitable patients, we use insulin pump as well to manage diabetes. As the number of diabetic patients are going up and gradually India is becoming the capital of diabetes, we have pregnancy patients with diabetes too. There are patients who become pregnant after developing diabetes or more commonly they develop diabetes during pregnancy what we call as gestational diabetes. So we have services wherein we ensure patients get the best possible care and we follow up-to-date international guidelines so that our patients get what is considered as standard care in the western world. Same happens with thyroid as well. Patients can develop thyroid problem before pregnancy whereby a good control is necessary to ensure pregnancy is safe. Sometimes thyroid problems get detected during pregnancy and we, may, we manage such patients as well. Coming to diabetes as a lifestyle disease, we know a good lifestyle leads to good health outcomes and a bad lifestyle unfortunately predisposes or puts patients at risk for obesity, blood pressure problems, cholesterol problems, which in turn rises risks of heart problems. So lifestyle change is very important and we certainly educate patients about lifestyle importance that includes diet and exercise. In the World Health Day, the World Health Organization says health for all. It wants to provide good care health to everybody wherever they live. Prevention is better than cure. If somebody can avoid problems that are 
going to happen then their need to go to the doctor comes down when it comes to healthy lifestyle we encourage patients to eat healthy keep active do exercise of at least 60 minutes a day and ensure they don't spend their time sedentary it could be just sitting in front of a computer or a tv it's important that they keep themselves active in case of children we know childhood obesity is increasing as well including india so ensuring even in children reducing screen time the amount of time they spend in front of tvs or computers or gadgets that's going to be very important this has to be inculcated and incorporated from childhood having an active healthy lifestyle from childhood would ensure the children grow into healthy adults and the healthy adults should hopefully manage healthy lifestyle so that they live life better do things in a healthy way and ensure they keep medical problems away this world health day world health organization wa- works with a theme of universal health care health care for everyone everywhere obviously somebody becomes unwell seeking health care is one thing but if somebody were to have a healthy lifestyle and are able to avoid illnesses or medical problems their need to seek health care will come down so a healthy lifestyle will go a long way in ensuring both children and adults have a healthy fruitful life when we come to lifestyle it involves what we eat what we do what activities we do what habits we have etc so eating healthy staying oneself away from bad habits such as smoking alcohol having a stress free or relaxed life but ensuring that they work to the best of their potential is important eating healthy should start from home from childhood so both at school and at home children should be encouraged to ensure they have a healthy lifestyle avoiding junk unhealthy food staying active while reducing screen time in front of TVs computers mobiles gadgets etc playing outside keeping themselves active and ensuring these habits are good lifestyle tips are carried on into their adult life such being the case children will grow into adults with good lifestyle habits so that they can stay away from health issues and remain well obviously genetic factors and environmental factors can't be taken away if somebody were to still get health issues or health problems seeking medical advice is essential thank you